I'm Joel Josephson and I'm working in the uh, Department of BCE as an Assistant Professor. Now I would like to explain the switch concept with the diode and transistor. Okay. Diode and transistor has a switch. So why specifically I have taken this concept uh, because in digital logic we use on and off. In digital logic, in digital logic, here we use one and zero. Here we show this one and zero for logic gates, for, for say the so logic gates for uh, inverter and also OR gate AND gate explicitly for all these gates we just show 0 and 1's so from welcome we make all these things 1's and 0's in other words I can say high or low so this is high and this is low or in other words I can say on off now the back end for this here these electronic components used to derive the switch concept is here these electronic components are diode and transistor diode and transistor so now first of all i will explain the okay concept of switch with the help of diode so diode here basically we learn as it is a device which has two junctions it has so two junctions so namely p and n okay the formation of the diode we write symbolically as p and n like this so here p stands for positive n stands for negative and schematically i have shown like this symbolically the symbol of this diode here i can show as like this so here now here when we apply the voltage for this applying voltage for any electronic device we call that as biasing biasing okay so biasing means applying voltage now we apply some voltage for this diode as okay so this is the diode and what i do p and n okay i have applied a biasing so this is positive and this is negative and here what happens here i increase the voltage here what are the things contained in P and what are the things contained in N means in P here we have the majority carriers are holes and also the minority carriers are electrons and whereas in the case of N it is reverse the majority things is electrons and the minority things are holes when we apply the voltage here so what is happening means when i increase the voltage here they push okay the positive and positive here so what happens here they push the positive terminal of the battery pushes this p terminal and negative terminal of the battery pushes the n charge carriers and they come closure here the depletion width here it forms thicker after some times they cross the junction okay so this is called as forward biasing so this 
so this is called as forward biasing okay so what happens when this voltage is being increased the carriers at p the carriers at p and also the carriers at n both cross the junction they cross the junction okay now what i mean to say here is the flow of current happens the flow of current happens the flow of current will be happening okay here the flow of current will be happening and hence i say during forward bias it is on next thing during reverse bias so reverse bias here i just show like this so reverse biasing here i will just interchange the terminals so this as in p and this as in n this is the negative terminal it is the positive terminal now what happens here all the p here the majority are holes and here at n side the majority are electrons and they are being attracted they are being attracted upon this what happens here here depletion with this more depletion with is more and hence i can say the diode is off we have seen there here in the case of forward biasing the diode is on and in the case of reverse biasing the diode is off it is the thing about the first thing as diode as a switch we can use it as on and off we can use it as on and off now coming to the second thing and also forward biasing we see the plot between i and v when i increase the voltage the current flows in this direction and during reverse biasing the plot is being observed like this okay this is i and v here this is small amount of current okay very small amount of current is being flowed now the second thing here we are going to see about okay the transistor working as a switch we are going to see about the transistor working as a switch okay so transistor working as a switch so first of all we have to see the formation of transistor so transistor means what transfer of resistance so transfer of resistance from one side to the other this transistor it is a three terminal device it is a three terminal device okay this has three terminals as emitter base and also collector emitter base and also yeah here we have these three terminals next uh, formation of transistor so formation of transistor how it is formed with the help of two pn junctions two pn junctions so which are connected either back to back and which are connected either front to front here i will show pn and np this forms a pnp transistor symbolically we write like this so this is a base emitter and collector and this is called as pnp and ncm transistor n p p n so this symbolically we write 
as emitter, phase, and collector. So this is called as NPN transistor. Now our discussion is to show the transistor working as a switch. Transistor working as a switch. So transistor working as a switch. In order to show that, here we are going to see the circuit as so this is VCC and V0 and this is V in. Okay. Now here what is happening? It is a simple circuit. Now here uh, this is the supply voltage VCC we are giving as 5 volts. Now the operation of that happens whenever V in is given. Okay. Now we are going to study so two cases. Okay. The first case is when V in is 0. When case 1 case 1 when V in equals to 0. When V in equals to 0 here what happens the flow VCC the current is flowing like this and here it comes like this okay and again okay so when V is equals to 0 here so so these junctions will not be open and this works as open circuited it works as open circuited how means so this is V in this is VCC and V naught and this is the ground and here what happens okay the flow happens so the flow whatever is there is being observed V naught VCC is equals to V naught so when V in is equal to 0 when V in equal to 0 V naught is equals to VCC okay and the next thing here so here I can say when the input V in equal to 0 means when the input is low output is high when the input is low output is high and next we are going to see the case 2 as the case 2 as when V in is equals to 5 volts or high. So when V in is equals to high here 5 volts so what happens here this transistor it works as open uh, so like uh, so here it works as short circuited the transistor works as short circuited when V is equals to 5 volts here schematically I can show that okay so V in is equals to 5 volts and this is V naught so what happens the current is flowing like this maybe some of the current which is negligible may go in this way but most of the current is grounded and hence I can say V in is equals to 5 volts means when the input is 5 volts in other words digitally I can say when the input is high when the input is high output is so what is the output it is grounded here I can say output is low hence this transistor an electronic component is being used as a switch here what is happening firstly we have seen when it is zero when it is zero when v is equal to zero it is open circuited and the current is going like this means high zero high low high and here when the input here it is 5 volts it is short circuited and hence I can say when it is high here this is low so hence here we have seen two things one as in diode when it is forward biased the diode is on and when it is reverse biased the diode is 
of similarly the transistor when the input is high output is low and when the input is high output is low so